Welcome back to another episode of All About Life. In today's segment, we have Jonathan. Yep, Jonathan Severus, <laughs> you already know. AKA School Phase, in case y'all watch that dragon content. <laughs> you already know. So he's going to be joining us on a hot topic. And that's just going to be simply the difference between good guys and nice guys. I've seen a lot of videos lately and a lot of people talking about this type of topic of what's the difference. I mean, when you look at a nice guy or a good guy, they both sound very similar, right? Yes. They sound similar, sound similar, but unfortunately, society doesn't see them the same. Mm -hmm. So when we look at a nice guy, uh, I'm going to touch up on the nice guy and you're going to touch up on the good guy. Mm -hmm. And we'll, he'll do the good guy, I'll do the nice guy. Yeah. You know, good cop, bad cop. <laughs> but um, so, you know, a nice guy is simply someone who overcompensates, okay? This is the person that goes the extra mile to get someone else's approval, whether it's a friendship, a relationship, whatever it is, that is what he's doing. He uses his money, he uses his time, he uses any resources he has available to him to try to attract the people he wants in his own life. Now, the problem with that, okay, is that you're starting to use other means instead of yourself in order to attract the people you want in your life which sucks because essentially when people do come into your life, they're not going into your life for you, they're going into your life for what you have. What are you providing for them in their own? Meaning, for example, there's a nice girl, a hot girl, you know, a girl that this guy's pursuing. He's utilizing his money. He's actually taking her to expensive restaurants or just places in general so that he can captivate her attention. And not only that, but he is trying to buy her love, buy that care, while another person can simply get it for free because they have value. Now, Hughes, he's going to touch up on the good guy. The good guy, he has a respectful character, respects the human beings around him. He, he basically is coming from a more genuine place than the nice guy. He's being there because, he's being like that because those values are true to his character. He will open the door for an old person. He'll he'll say good morning, good night. He'll um he's genuinely just like a good person. He's not doing it for an ulterior motive. That's just the way he was brought up. Very respectful. Stands by his word. Always keeps his word. And it's just like a very very um very certain human being. He doesn't change because to attract something else, or he doesn't change based on the circumstance. Exactly. He's very solemn. Exactly. Well said. And you know. A good guy, his dynamics from a nice guy is, is that he's doing things because he wants to do it. Not because he's trying to get the approval of someone else. Like he said, a nice guy will open the door for an elderly person or a young woman or any type of person, you know, just because he wants to. It's all about how he feels. He's not worried about how someone else's feel. He doesn't care uh, if you like him or not, you know, but he stands true to himself and whatever personality he has, that's who he's going to display. So a good guy can be nice to a person, but a good guy doesn't embody the nice characteristics where he's forcing himself with his resources and other things to try to get what he wants. No, he is the prize. He's not utilizing his resources as a prize. He is the prize. He, is, he knows his value. Exactly. And a good guy is not afraid to walk away from a scenario. So example, you have friends that are only with you, let's say, because they see that they have potential gain from you. A good guy, he'll look at those type of friends or those type of individuals and walk away. You know what? Oh, I, I noticed you're doing certain things or you're only around me when this happens. You know what? I'm not feeling it. Deuces. I'm gone. Same thing with a woman. He interacts with a woman. If the woman doesn't want to be around him, deuces. He's gone. He's not trying to keep the girl by his corner. He's only around people that he wants to be around and that wants to be around him. So it goes both ways. But the whole point is, is that a good guy respects himself. A nice guy will get disrespected and used because he's trying to use methods in order to get what he back wants. To, back to Anthony's point, the good guys, the good guy will act like that because it's more naturally, it's more organic. He won't force anything. So it'll be going with the flow, going with his character. He's not going out of his character to try to please somebody else. So everything goes according to basically how the way he is. Exactly. And now just to touch up on a slight little topic, and this is adding the asshole in this little discussion. 
The asshole essentially is someone who is attractive by nature because there aren't as many of those out there. Meaning the asshole is confident or has a resemblance of selfishness within himself. So that gives a nice attraction to women and it also can be attractive to other friends where some people will look at, look up to someone who is an asshole because he might have certain things going for him. And those, again, can be attractive traits to different individuals. A girl, you women, you all know, that there are times that you are attracted to an alpha male that happens to be an asshole. You know how I've said before we have good alphas and bad alphas? That would be an example of a bad alpha. Someone that will disrespect you, someone that doesn't have any respect for others or very little to none. And they're all about self. While the good guy, he has respect for others, but he's he he is all about self as well. It's just that the way he goes about things are different as opposed to being disrespectful. He's always respectful, but he knows when to cut you know, loose ends out of the way. If you're in his life and he feels that you're a good portion of his life, he'll keep you around. If you're not with his program, he'll let you go. An asshole will let you go just as fast, but an asshole normally will disrespect you and make you feel lesser of yourself so that he can get your attention. By making you feel less, you start to feel more attracted to this person, whether you're a, a woman, a man, it doesn't matter. If you want someone or you feel this type of attraction towards this individual, they're gonna reel you in with their personality of being an asshole. Again, the good guy is a little different because he could respectfully leave you or respectfully delegate whatever he needs to do without having to harm you or make you feel lesser of a human being. So that's just a little different. Anything you want to add on to that? Um, the asshole has the reputation of being a carefree spirit or free spirit, but that's because he genuinely doesn't care. He doesn't care whether he has you, whether he doesn't no. have you. And he has a lot of girls that are under his wing that he's trying, and he can pick any one of them at any moment. You know? Correct. And I have spoken to multiple women, multiple, and you know, I hear different stories, but the stories usually end up being the same result. And the fact of the matter is, is that most of you women out there, you'll go for the asshole, you'll go for this alpha guy because he's not a pushover. You love the fact that he's not a pushover. You love the fact that he stands for his own grounds. But you have to realize that you can also go for a good man that has the same characteristics. You don't have to go for an asshole. An asshole is toxic, okay? A person that puts you down and makes you feel lesser is not a good person to have in your life just just because he stands out and because he's also has alpha traits doesn't mean that you should be with someone like that. I'm not saying go for the nice guy because we all know the nice guys are very deceitful and that's why they get used and abused. Yes, you nice guys, a lot of you, you try to use your resources and other things, your time, in order to try to get with the person which you shouldn't. And so that is the deceitful factor. And that's why you guys get used, which is on our next topic. I'm going to give you an example of something atrocious we heard of recently. Mm -hmm. It was so bad. So I watch a channel. Uh, what is this channel's name? Fit X Fearless. All right, man. Bro, you're, you're amazing. You know, you have a lot of good content. So if you happen to see this video or if anyone sees this video that watches his content, you know, you already know what we're talking about. But anyways, the point is that he recently had a video where he put up a client of his. Someone decided to send him a message on saying, how can I sleep with this woman? And it's a guy who's been dating this woman for two years and hasn't gotten any pussy. He hasn't gotten laid by this individual. Dating, guys. We're talking about dating. We're not talking about that you know someone for two years. We're not talking about being friends with someone for two years. We're talking about someone that had sexual interest in one other individual and they've been together for two years. Two freaking years. Like, what the fuck? Two years. That's a lot of time. That's like way too much time, okay? And he's asking this man to help him find a solution so that he can get laid with this girl. So his answer to him was, your solution is you're not getting laid. You're not. You're just not. Because if she hasn't even given it to you in a shorter period of time, it doesn't matter how long you stay with this woman. She's literally using the fact that you don't have enough confidence and enough self-respect to walk away. Women and people in general will use you if you allow them to, okay? They will size you up. 
She might have had interest in him at one point when they started dating, but then she noticed that this nigga is a pushover. This guy is using his resources, taking her on a date, spending money, validating her endlessly for no reason, and doing all these things that is not allowing the relationship to go anywhere. You don't know that person. How can you validate someone you don't even know? They, don't, they haven't gotten your own approval. Guys, you have to respect yourself foremost. That's the most important thing you need to do because if you don't have self-respect and confidence and you know that you have your own belonging into life, meaning that you belong here. We're all here. You have a purpose. Find out what your purpose is and live life to the best of your ability. But if you don't have that confidence in yourself, why would someone else have any confidence in you? Why would someone else treat you the way that you feel you should be treated when you're not even treating yourself that way? Going back to that point, Anthony was saying, um, People will use you for as long as you let them. So as long as you allow this to go on, it can be an infinity again due to it's gonna keep happening, it's gonna keep happening. You have to have that self confidence. If you don't have that self confidence that you can sleep with this girl, you can be with this girl, why why would you, why would she sleep with you? Why would she wanna sleep with you? If you don't have that confidence in yourself, if you don't create that. Why would she wanna sleep with you if you don't create that feeling of confidence, absolute confidence that you take what you want, you know? Exactly. And why would anybody wanna sleep with you? Yeah, nobody would wanna sleep with you. Shit, nobody might wanna even fuck with you like that, to be honest, you know? That's why you could be getting used by quote unquote friends or getting used by other individuals because you don't have no self respect. Knowing when to cut off relationships is a part of having self-love. Knowing when to walk away is a part of those attributes. So if you see someone, again, if you want something out of an individual and they're not with your program, you need to be able to walk away. And I'm not saying to be an asshole. I'm not saying to be mean. You don't have to be a bad guy in order to convey this type of message. You just need to have self-respect so that you will not tolerate that bullshit. And this is going to go on to the next topic, which is knowing when to check someone, okay? Checking someone is very important in life because sometimes individuals will try to throw a curveball your way and try to use you or or do something that's very disrespectful and it could even be minor but it's something that you know no one or no person should tolerate example let's say you're about to set up a date right and you have a date for 7 p.m. and a girl hits you up at some point in the day especially if it's close to 7 p.m. and says hey I'm gonna be late I'm coming in 30 minutes to an hour late or whatever amount of time later and she gives you whatever excuse that is not acceptable. I don't care if someone died and I, I and again, don't get me wrong, that might be sounding like an asshole, but I don't care if she just lost somebody right now. The point is, is that if an emergency happens, you let the person know immediately. And if that happened to be the case, that something extreme happened, she now needs to make that up to you, okay? This is something that you need to follow, and I know some of you guys will disagree with this because it sounds cold-hearted, but the fact of the matter is is that your life is your own. You're not her life. She's not your life. So at the end of the day, your time needs to be taken accounted for. If she decides to burn 30 minutes to an hour of your time or whatever amount of time she burns through, that's on you and you're allowing her to do that with whatever excuse she gives you. And we all know that no, most of the excuses happen don't happen to be someone passing away. It happens to be like, oh, I just came out of work or, oh, I just, you know, I just got home. I have to get everything ready. I'm getting dressed. I'm doing this. I just got out of the shower, blah, 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 all that bullshit. If you agreed at 7 p.m. and she confirmed Firm, then it's 7 p.m. If she has something come up, she should let you know hours beforehand, before you start getting ready. Imagine you you go to a restaurant or you go out to a place to meet this person and you're there. You, let's say you show up 15 minutes early and within that time she hits you up and says, hey, I'm going to be 30 minutes to an hour late. How are you going to feel? Now you're fucked, right? Now you're stuck at that place. You have option A, whether you're going to just wait there and just let her come whenever she shows up. Or option B, you're going to get your ass out of there and check her and let her know that that won't ever be tolerated again. Back to Anthony's point, you let one excuse slide, she's going to feel in her mind that like, anything is going to, anything's going to be able to, to slide with this guy. Next time is an hourly, next time is two hours, next time is a full flake. But it's been progressively getting this way because you didn't check that type of behavior at the door. So now when you check her the second time or the third time, it looks like you being out of your character, you being a mean guy or whatever, but it's not like that. 
You gotta let it know, be low right away that you won't tolerate that type of behavior. Correct. And right away, so you gotta nip it in the bud. Yeah, immediately, because you can't allow a person to take advantage of you in that way. And that goes for any type of relationship. It could be a person that borrows money from you. And after they borrow money, they confirm that they're gonna pay you back at a certain date. And at, when it hits that certain date, they still haven't paid you back. And now it seems like you have to keep asking. All of a sudden, they might even ask you to borrow more money from them. You have to nip it in the bud. The whole point is not allowing people to take advantage. It's like what I said, like, you, you, like if you, you allow them to take a, uh, like a finger from you, they'll take the whole hand. Um, today I robbed you for your cornbread, tomorrow I might rob you for your whole hand. <laughs> it, gets, like, it gets progressively worse. Exactly, and that's true. It's a funny the more, example. The more, you don't, the more you don't stand for yourself, the more people will take advantage. They're going to keep pushing the, that, that barrier further and further away. The line keeps getting moved. Yeah, until they're full-fledged raping you. You don't, you, just feel raped. you don't have a line. You don't have a line. You against the wall. Yeah, you're just getting pushed back and it's it's not good for you. But guess what? You know whose fault that is? Yours. Because at the end of the day, no one can take advantage of you unless you allow them to. And that's the whole point of this video. Nice guy versus good guy. Again, a good guy stands his ground, he has his own values, and he's a respected human being, meaning that he has self-love and self-care for himself. He knows when to let a relationship go. He knows when to cut his losses. That's what a nice, that's what a good guy embodies. A nice guy, on the other hand, is someone that overcompensates and tries to use resources and his own time to try to get that validation from another human being, especially when it comes to the dynamic between men and women. Women will not respect you if you operate in that way because they will know that your worth is only based on what you have and what you're willing to do. They won't see you as valuable. They'll just see your assets as value. And that's not a relationship you want to be a part of unless you want a gold digger or an individual just to straight up use you. Like, like what Anthony was saying, if they don't respect you, everything, every aspect of that relationship is going to be transactional. Nothing is going to be generic. Nothing is going to be organic. Everything is going to be transactional. So even the sense that you might be getting at as like, it's gonna be conditional. Conditional on what you do, conditional on the value you provide. The second you stop being valuable, because when they build on a genuine foundation, they'll clip you out and they'll replace you with another guy. They'll and replace you with another free meal, another free ride, whatever the, whatever the case may be. Yeah, and, and trust me guys, we all, you know, I'm not gonna say all of us, but some of us have been through there. I've been through that part where I was a nice person overcompensating for some shortcomings and it happens you know there was years back that I used to take women on dates and you know spend 30 40 50 dollars on a date and hoping that that individual will like me for what I've done for her but at the end of the day it doesn't work because she'll go out with someone she'll give sex to someone else who didn't do shit for her and at the end of the day I just went 40 50 dollars neg maybe even more depending on the type of date and that's the thing that you need to learn you should you should never ever overcompensate for your time and your, your well-being. At the end of the day, you have value and you need to display that value and display that confidence at all times when you're dealing with people because if you do not and you show weakness, you can get taken advantage of. Exactly what Anthony was saying. If you let people take advantage of you, I had a woman show up with, with her sister on the date. We didn't agree to that and it, you know, it was a bad experience. I couldn't stand up for myself at the time because I was being too much of a nice guy and I just... It was out of my character. It was out of his character. And now, this brings us to the last portion of this video, and it's how to break that cycle, okay? Because I know a lot of you guys, you're used to being a nice person, and that's the, your means to get what you want, or at least to attempt to get what you want, because we already know how that works. The point is, you need to start building some type of confidence in some aspect of your life. What are you good at? What are you good at? What hobbies are you good at? Are you an intelligent human being? Are you good at uh, some specific type of sport or instruments or whatever? Whatever you're good at, try to be exceptional on that. Work on those type of strengths so that you can display the confidence you have in those fields and kind of move that confidence across your life. Because when you're good at something, you can slowly start to transform what you're good at and start moving them into other aspects so that you can become a stronger individual. And that will help you start to build that type of respect where now when you're going on a date or when you're going somewhere and you're trying to communicate to an individual like, hey, I like you, you can at the same token let them know, well, I like you, but at the end of the day, I'm, I'm, I'm a catch. So mm -hmm. if you want to hang with me, if you want to spend time with me, I'm here. If you don't, well, that's cool. You go your way, I go my way. And you're not afraid to just drop the person if they're not a part of your agenda, if they're not a part of the plan. 
it's like what Anthony was saying. When it comes to the relationship, I'd rather do this with you, but I could do it without you as well. So You want them, you do not need them. And you don't want to display a neediness for them because they'll look at that as if you're a nice guy and you want to break that cycle. You just want to be a person that's respected and that is a, that's also a prize. And another thing, guys, is... You should work out, okay? Working out is very important from an aesthetic viewpoint. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't matter if you're going to a gym, you can work out outside, at home, it doesn't matter. The point is get into some type of regular exercises and start eating better. Change your diet a little bit. If you're used to eating trash and you guys know what I mean by that, start eating better because girls will look at you. You will get your foot in the door, especially when it comes to dates, when a woman finds you appealing. When, you know, when she sees some muscles and she sees like, you know, you're, you're taking care of your appearance, shape ups, always Everything. clean, yep. dressing nice, you know, rocking your own brand. He has his own brand with his brother. You know, when you're rocking your own stuff and you, you dress nice and you're well composed and then you also know how to speak to a person because you speak to them from a genuine place and with confidence, as in that you don't care if they like you. You should never care if a person likes you because at the end of the day, if they don't like you, you should be like, well, it's your loss, babe, or it's your loss, whoever you're talking to. That's on you because I'm just going to take my business somewhere else. It goes back to this. You guys like females that look, that look good, that look right. So you should be looking good, looking right for yourself as well and for the females as well because you want them to be pleased by what they see as well. Exactly. It opens more doors for you. It will open doors that you didn't have before with these yeah. females. You know, more attractive women will look at you when you're attractive yourself, you know, and you, when you handle yourself with confidence and like pristine, you know, the whole point is, you know, being confident and don't, and knowing, knowing what you, what you want out of life, you know, that's like a sense, like, you know, your worth. So now you can delegate and move accordingly. So if you don't know your worth, find it, you know, look at what you're good at, try to get even better at it. If you're fat or skinny or out of shape or whatever the problems that you are going through physically, work on that. If you're someone that doesn't take appearance seriously because you're involved into your other hobbies and other things, start taking it serious. Start actually getting shape ups or tape ups or haircuts or whatever it is. Start changing your appearance so that you can be the best version of yourself. Get confident in yourself, like Anne would say. Get confident in yourself internally. And hourly, like, everybody's gonna, like, notice right away. The female gonna notice, the, the female that you weren't getting before, you weren't getting looks from them, you weren't getting choosing signals from them, they're gonna start noticing you, they're gonna start looking at you, they're gonna, you know, start feeling better about yourself. You That's know? a fact. And then it leads to you developing your game by talking to them, getting past the wall of rejection. You can't let that stop you, you know? No. Rejection is a way to learn, like I said in my previous video. But, guys and girls, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give this a, a thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate it if you can share the video. And if you have any questions, you can leave them in the comment section below. Or you can email me at generalstarfox1991 at gmail.com. Thank you guys again for being a part of this channel. And as always, this is all about you.